Hello and welcome to part 2 of this series where we will actually start um, waterproofing our electronics because um, we need to waterproof them before uh, mounting them on the uh, quadcopter frame uh, which makes quite a lot of sense but before testing it out on our pretty expensive gear like the Pixel flight controller you want to test it out um, on something cheap um, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Uh, I have just an old radio system that I used for the first quadcopter I built. Um, just the Hobby King 6 channel with a cheap receiver and a cheap servo that's uh, more or less broken. Um, so we want to go ahead and just connect up a battery to see if this works. And you can see the servo here. When I move it, the servo works. So now that we have this established, um, we want to, to uh, disconnect the servo and just open up the casing here um, for the receiver. And there's just small screws here um, at the back which be fairly easy to disassemble. So now that you've taken off the casing of the receiver, um, just make sure that you have some sort of plastic um, uh, underlay on your table uh, because it can get quite messy especially when we test out the waterproofing. So um, next we want to go ahead and just put this aside and actually start spraying this and I think we're going to start with the Corrosion X. That's the Corrosion X for heavy duty use and there's a normal Corrosion X. So we're going to see if the normal Corrosion X works perfectly and if it does that um, we know that the heavy duty stuff will just work even better and last even longer. And I believe this is highly flammable, so you should watch out um, where you are going to use this. So you want to start spraying this everywhere. Um, on both sides. And you can see it, it creates sort of a coat um, layer around it. So now, um, just let it dry for a bit and you can see it's, this is almost dried out. Get some paper here and just wipe off the excess corrosion X here. See we've got the water right there. And we want to connect the battery up first and add it powers on. Let's just give these connectors a spray as well. And let's see if this is going to explode or whatever it's going to do. Oh wow! I did not expect that at all. You can look at this. It actually, when it goes down, it stays on for a few seconds and then the LED shuts off. Um, which means it's, it's powered off, so something shorted out. But as soon as you lift it out of the water again, it, it powers on again, so it's not destroyed at all. Let's put the antenna down there as well. Wow, this works great. So you can see right there that it's actually still powered on. The, the red LED is still, is still uh, shining from the from, because it's got power on and it's, it's bare electronics that would have shorted out if it, it wasn't covered in Corrosion X. So uh, let's just get this out and let's try to see if it actually functions with the servo connected to it. And let's just give this connector spray as well. And you can see the servo works and we're going to dip this into the water. So it's actually underwater now. You can still control the servo. That's amazing. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. So let us try to waterproof the servo as well. But we'll just give it a spray on the outside. See if that works. Actually spray down. You should probably, probably uh, open it up. 
see this is this is actually underwater now. Let's see if it works. Still works. Let's put all of it down there. So everything is in the water now. And it still works. It still works perfectly. You might just give it a couple of layers because you can see sometimes it, it cuts out. But and right at the second that you lift it off of the water again, it turns back on. So you might just want to give it a couple of coats uh, or use the corrosion heavy duty. But I'm really impressed with that. Look at that. That's actually in the water. That is waterproof. Impressive. I didn't expect it to be that good. All right, thank you for watching this video. And we will now try, just do a little clean up here. And we will now try, you see it still works? We will now try uh, waterproofing um, the other electronics. So uh, next up, I believe, is the Pixhawk and the GPS and uh, whatever module comes up there. So uh, stay, stay tuned. And uh, thanks, thank you for watching. Bye.